Mark, this is the second H plus 300 you have here at Miltech Precision Engineering from Matsura. Um, why go for the second machine? Well, when we put on the first machine, it was um, it was to try and increase capacity, and it did exactly that. And we the growth of the business was so much so that it warranted a second machine. Um, yeah, the, we continue to grow, and we're pretty much maximised out the second machine as well. So, um, and what do you actually make here then? On it, let's call it in this cell because you've got two machines together here in this workshop. What predominantly yeah. is the work? Predominantly uh, valve and manifold bodies uh, is is mostly for the oil and gas industry. We try not to say exactly, you know, just them. Like we look for other work as well, but that is 95% of the work that runs through that it. That can be quite challenging stuff as well. Quite harder materials in a lot of senses, isn't it? Yeah, most of the stuff we run is stainless. Like pretty high tolerances on there, as you can imagine. Um, yeah. And running it through the night, no problems. Well, absolutely no problems. That's the aim of these machines: is to run completely through the night, 24/7. And yeah, that's exactly what we do to get the capacity out. So. So what I want to find out during this video is. Um, you know, firstly, why you would buy this style of machine? What, what's the reason that a company like yours goes for this this machine with with lots of pallets, lots of tools? What does it give you? I mean, previous to these, we ran most things just through typical milling machines, and what this allowed us to do was to really reduce our costs. Um, one, our machining cost, but then to be able to pass that on to the customer as well. The cost of part to the customer is a huge saving here, and we're very competitive now. Uh, certainly against European partners as well, and even looking at Chinese counterparts. So, and, and how how do you manage to do that then? So these machines are running unmanned. Do you have a like a stocking facility, a stocking system? Just talk us through where the benefits are to your customer and how quickly you're able to respond. Thanks sure. to this capacity. Sure. I mean, mostly it's a Kanban system that we run here. So for us, we hold certain inventories of, of stock for our customer and they can call it off on a two to three day lead time, potentially even less than that if they want. And then we're constantly looking just to replenish that stock. So for us, we're, we, we hold the inventory, not the customer, um, which they massively like, you know, the more money off their books onto ours as such. But we have agreements in place that eventually they'll take all the stock. And So as soon as you see a dip in, in a quantity of, of the stock product, that's when it then comes yeah. into play and you'll, and you'll replenish that with these machines. That's right, yeah, that's prompts us to put it on. And being a 15 pallet machine as well means that we can just line up work to keep running through. So yeah, we're, we're never short of work on here. And the actual, the, the Matsuras themselves then coping with that, with them running 24 seven, that's quite a lot to, to demand out of a machine, isn't it? It is, it is, but they are designed to run 24-7. It's not something that we, that we, you know, are pushing a machine outside of its limits. Um, it's got about 180 tool capacity and we run like sister tooling on them, which means that tools are never going to break or if they do, we get a prompt of the kind of likelihood when they're going to break. And so, yeah, we get a lot of information, a lot of feedback, really good KPIs out of the machine to be able to preempt any problems and keep them running 24-7. And when I look at the, the cubes that you've got, they look like they've got different components in them. So when you talk about stocking inventory for your customer, are you talking about a wide variety of different parts? Yes, we are, we are. So being 15 pallets and being two machines, we can potentially have constantly set up to 30 different parts. Now, we don't, we run multiple pallets on some parts, but that is the potential. And yeah, that means that we, we can just keep running and running on different variety of parts. When it comes to the operation of the machines here in this cell as well then, how many, how many bodies do you need in here in order to keep this lot going? Uh, we predominantly have one loader for each machine and then we have a, a cell manager as well. Um, but as we say, once, once the machines are loaded and keeping them loaded at the same speed they're actually machining is, is relatively easy. It comes the weekend when we run out nearly all 15 pallets and then on a Monday you have a big job to get them back up and going. But we only run one shift and that's enough for us to run 24-7 constantly. And, and because when we were here, I think it was about five or six years ago, from memory there was a lot of vertical machining centres in, in, the, in the site, three axis machines, there was a lot of hands, there was a lot of moving of components around. Sure. How much more productive do you think you are now here uh, in real time as a result of having this unmanned running? Well, it's, it's, it's hard to put a number on but, but massively. Um, yeah, in comparison, you're taking some of these jobs that would have been 10 operations and you're bringing them down into two operations. And, and for that, on a standard milling machine, is going to be a lot of hands and a lot of movement, uh, changing parts over. So, yeah, it's hard to quantify, but it's, it's huge differences to us as a business. Yeah, and, and has that made you what the business is today? Like, for example, you've got a new unit here, another facility that you've moved yeah. into. 
I come on this industrial estate, you were much smaller five years ago than you are today. Yeah. All of that as a result of these moves that you've made into this uh, modern technology, do you think? Yeah, I mean, we stand in this purpose-built building for uh, a couple of clients of ours. Uh, without this building, without these two Matsuras, then we wouldn't be able to supply that customer. Um, one on the, the price and, and two on the volume. We'd never be able to run it uh, out of our other buildings. So, yeah, it, it's pushed the business forward hugely and, and it's something that we want to continue growing as well. We're certainly not at the limit, we're not at the limit of the building and we keep pushing for more, more of this type of work. Um, when you can measure a return on investment, it's quite hard to do sometimes, but if you had to look at the return on investment you used to get maybe out of a, a simple lower cost vertical machining centre, compared to these which are much more expensive um, as people would expect, but is the return as quick or quicker with this type of machine do you think? It, it is much, much quicker. and. What we found is that machines all need updating throughout time and as we were getting rid of some of the older machines it was then a question of do we replace them with the same machine or do we replace them with something that's going to give us a vast increase in, in, in productivity and, and that's what we went for and, and, and yeah I mean we, we're really pleased with the return on investment of these machines.